Well, it's not, you know, it, it, you, Scott, it's it's uh, very unfortunate because it was just this weekend I was talking to people in Washington how safe Toronto is, how, um, you know, how it's a melting pot. You don't have the same crime and all that stuff. And unfortunately, we had the incident yesterday, and our hearts and prayers go out to the families that were affected. Uh, it does put things in perspective. There's, there's, there's things much bigger than sport right now that's going on in, in the world and in that right now in Toronto. So uh, it does put it in perspective, but hopefully sport can give a relief, a reprieve, uh, some joy uh, in, in our lives a little bit and lighten things up, should lighten things up a little bit, uh, you know, from, from the incident yesterday, which is very, very unfortunate. And, and uh, but it just lets us know that uh, the world we live in is always changing. It's, it could be here, it could be anywhere in the world. So we always have to be vigilant and uh, understand that those things can happen. And, uh, but we just pray for the victims and the people that were affected by it. <clears throat> we no, we were yeah, it, it, we were sitting in a coaches meeting, going over what we were going to do, and all in a heated discussion about Washington. And they they said, you know, is everybody okay? Uh, Rex got a text or email or something on his phone, and, and then we turned on the television and saw it. So uh, <clears throat> that's how we found out about it. And, uh, uh, you know, everybody was texting and finding out if it, you know, if anybody was, and it's not too far from the street from where I live, you know, so uh, uh, it's very unfortunate. <clears throat> Well, uh, Michael, you know, there's, there's numerous things that we've worked on and adjusted, and, and uh, mainly there's a transition, there's speed getting by. We've got to do a much better job. You know, that's, that's very uh, uh, evident. You know, the, that, that's the, the thing we've got to do is, is to get back, and, and uh, there's some different things we can do with Walls pick and rolls to control him. He's been an issue with his speed in the pick and roll situations, the different looks that he gives you in the pick and roll and Gortat, how we want to handle those. We, we're going to make some changes how we do that. Uh, but most of all, gauging the speed, the speed of the game. And, and it started the second half uh, in, the, in game three. Uh, so we got to make sure we get back and uh, uh, gauge the speed and not get caught stabbing in the backcourt, walking out of the corners. Uh, those are things you can control, easily can control. And the other things schematically that we can do to try to help us and and uh, you know whether we blitzing, switching, or whatever we're going to do uh, to get better to make those adjustments too. <clears throat> first priority is first three steps. First three steps are the most important because if you uh, hip hop, hip scotch, or whatever it is in one place, you're you're dead. You know, and the fact that uh, you know because they're getting the outlet so far out, so high that you automatically have three behind the ball already. And so uh, we got to make sure and anticipate the shot. First of all, we got to take the shot, make sure we you know, don't turn shots down and uh, anticipate it and, and get on your horse and get back. And there are certain areas on the floor that we want to go to that players have certain responsibilities to get to. And uh, we got to make sure we do. But it all starts on the, on the release of the shot. And uh, cause you know, and then the outlet goes, and you know, get get fewer guys above the ball, ahead of the ball. <clears throat> Not really. Uh, you know, again, guys have to. You know, we a lot of guys, a lot of our shooter, three point shooters, had opportunities to shoot the ball, and uh, for whatever reason, we were hesitating and. You're looking at the film. They they had plenty. We had plenty of time. We just we've got to let it go. We got to let it fly, and uh, you know we're pump faking ourselves out of shots in the rotation. It's not like the rotation had gotten there, so we got to let it go, let it fly, because uh, if not, you putting more pressure on the guy handling the ball, which happened to be Demar at the time, and making putting pressure on him to make a play, and sometimes the play's not there. He's trying to make the right basketball kick out. And, uh, you know, if the ball's coming to you and you're a shooter, you got to let it go. Do what you do. And we'll live with the consequences after that. But, uh, you know, 
uh, don't fake yourself out of a shot. Go ahead. With Syracuse still involved a lot defensively, down defensively, would you like to see them involved? He's got to be. He, that point, to that point on the defensive side, he's got to be. He's got to be more involved. When he gets on a switch, he's got to do what he does best in guarding one on one. He's got to do a better job in that. And uh, you know, again, he he had a rough two couple of games defensively, and I think he'll he'll bounce out of it. I know he will because he's one of our well, he is one of the premier defenders in the league, shot blockers. Um, and um, you know, I have all the confidence in the world he's going to do that. Well, offensively, he's got to take the shots that are coming to him. I think that. That that will help him as much as pump faking and then trying to put it on the floor. Because again, like I said, he's got time. A lot of our perimeter players had open looks, and for whatever reason, pump fake uh, themselves out of shots. And they've got to be shot ready. Uh, pass has got to be on time, on target to get it up and out. And uh, you know, we got to take the shots. And I think that's where the difference in game one and two and game three and four. He was shot ready. He had it locked and and ready to go. So. Uh, that's what he has to. I think that will help him more than anything on the offensive end. But again, it starts with our defense. We, we, you know, they shot what 61% in the second half the other night, and uh, you know, a lot of our defensive focus starts with him. And so that's that's. I'm more. I'm just as concerned about that. Does home court play an even bigger part or bigger role in the playoffs than it does in the regular season? And if so, I think it. I think it does. You know. Uh, you know. Again. Uh, we, that's one reason why you play Josh as, as hard as you do for 82 games to get home court advantage, um, you know, uh, and take care of home. And both teams have taken care of home. And, uh, you know, we've got to do a good job of continuing to do that tomorrow night. And I hope our home court crowd is as loud and as, as vicious and boisterous as, as Washington was because they were – it was some things coming out of there that were – they were rabid. I mean, it was, it was a hot – environment yeah, uh, on Sunday. So we've got to turn around and, and do the same thing. I hope our crowd is loud and and on, on Washington and, and make it where they can hear and call out plays or whatever. So, But it's very important. I think we have one of the best home courts in the league. Dwayne, it sounds like there are a few things you want improved on since the last game, but is there one overriding message to your team that you're giving them? It's, it's, it's a few things, but again, we got to come out with the same Intensity, playing with force. I thought we did um, in uh, in Washington, but I think the number one thing is we got to be smarter, cut down on our turnovers. That's that's uh, beside our defense. Cutting down on our turnovers will will be you know one one B um, yeah, as far as uh, our defense and our defense starts with a transition. But one uh, B would be cut down on the turnovers, cut them in half, because we were making some very uncharacteristic passes, and and no disrespect to Washington, they had nothing to do with their defense, nothing. I mean, the guy was clear, clearly open, and we threw it another direction. So those things are uncharacteristic, and uh, we clean up half of those, and it, uh, that will help us tremendously. Doing the confidence you build up. <clears throat> We should have you no. Know, it shouldn't waver. You know, there's the 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 long, um, the database that we have over the season should it should transfer over. Uh, you know, we've got a good. You know, we've been a good low turnover team, and you know why now? And again, and I I really respect Washington's defense, but it's not like they're trapping or switching up defenses or you know they're switching some. But that's it. We've we've attacked switches all year. And um, you know, again, we got it. Like you said, have the confidence, and and we we change some things offensively to help us a little bit. Uh, not change the offense, but tweak some things in what we do to to give us more space and and time as far as the switching is concerned. But it's nothing we haven't seen before all year. You mean um, it's not Bacon. It's not, not, uh, and I don't know. Uh, that's uh, Dr. Shaw. Is uh, he's our team psychologist, and that's a good question for him because again, guys understand and know they have the green light to let it fly, and they've done it all, again. Just what, to his point, they've done it all year, and uh, we're encouraging it, and don't overthink it, 
it's 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 you know it's another game, and uh, we got to have that confidence and this confidence we we we're giving our guys to do that. So you mentioned the turnovers and the mm-hmm. shot changes you have not been doing all year. Mm-hmm. Jared, that's a great question. Yeah, I, that's one that uh, I, I don't think it is because uh, we've got some veteran guys that's been in that moment before, so it's not. And it just, but it's very uncharacteristic. Very uncharacteristic. Has Washington shown you different kind of personnel groupings and different moments of being in the special series? How is that impacting what you're doing in those moments? Well, again, they they're doing the exact same thing they did all year. They play in the same groupings that they did all year with Mike Scott, Morris. Uh, the only guy that's been in and out a little bit was Wall, but he's you know he wasn't in a lot. It was mainly Santaraski and Frazier. So those groupings are the same groups that we saw, and the, they're doing a lot of this, you know, the same thing as far as switching some, corralling some. Uh, so it's nothing that we haven't haven't seen, Jared. <clears throat> he he practiced today, so we'll we'll you know he's still day to day. He practiced today and he's he's day to day.